Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channels Andrews Vlog. So today's episode, guys, today's vlog, pag-usapan po natin about the living costs of New Zealand regarding for the rent and for the mortgage and as well the transportation. So we need to talk today about two things: about the renting, about the uh, when you have your own house, to paying on mortgage and transportation. So the first thing is if you rent the house here, dito sa New Zealand, it it's all about the location so depende po sa location and depende din po how much you pay how much you pay for the rent so in 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 short so it's all about location when you rent here and as well for the when you own the house so when it comes to rent guys so for example if you if you rent between two to three bedrooms so if you rent some for example, it's isolated area, so it could be roughly between 300 to 450, roughly. So, if you live close to the city, so mostly it's roughly between 400 to 600 up. So, the more you close you live the city, the higher the pay you sa rent. So, it's living here in New Zealand, it's all about location. So that's you pay for the rent so if you do plotting the man for example if you do plotting like a single bedroom mostly it between um, 150 to 180 so again it's all about location so sometimes it's much cheaper if you do flatting na may kasama po kayo na flatmate sa loob ng bahay because it's you can save like a uh, money so that's the first thing it's about the renting so if you paid for the rent for single ka lang dito you mostly you pay between 150 to 180 per room so if you occupy the man for the rent the whole house as i said before it's uh between 300 to 450 it depends for the locations and if you live in the city it's 450 to 600 up so the more you rent or the more you live close to the city, the more money you pay. So, second is mortgage. So, how much you pay for the mortgage? Again, it's all about a uh, location. So, dito sa New Zealand, guys, if you pay for the mortgage, uh, for example, it depends how many bedrooms. Here, uh, sometimes, mostly here, you just pay fortnightly. So, it's roughly between 500, between 500 to 1000 fortnightly so it depends again for location so living here again it's about location so and the last is we're talking about transportation so if you're a Filipino or or planning here to come in New Zealand so it's very important here uh, the transportation here dito sa New Zealand because uh, matagal po siya pag hindi pag wala po kayong transportation like kasi pwede naman po magbus kailang it's very it's very it takes ages it takes so long to catch the bus so mostly dito ang bus between 15 to 30 minutes so mostly you need to to wait the bus quite so long so if you start sa work so you should like leave the house like at least between 1 or 2 hours just to wait the bus not like if you driving you can live like 30 minutes going sa work mo. So, it doesn't mean na pag may kotse ka dito sa New Zealand, mayaman ka na. Kasi, uh, transportation here is very essential. It's very important here. No, lalo na pag nag-work ka and then if you're driving your kids sa school. So, transportation here is very important. So, and the good thing is, it's good as well, like, if you are traveling here dito sa New Zealand, it's maganda na if you already know how to drive here, no? And then, kasi it's, it's very essential, it's very important kasi guys, if you know already how to drive. Say, ako dito na ako, natuto mag-drive because kailangan mo dito matuto mag-drive kasi if you're working and then if you're driving your, your kids to school, no? It's quite hard if you're catching the bus because... Uh, it takes ages, so malilate ka talaga. So, very essential talaga dito when it comes sa uh, driving. So, that's it at the moment. Like, I'm telling you about the renting and the paying the mortgage and, and with regards sa uh, 
transportations. Hopefully, next times I can share you more about living here in New Zealand regarding sa mga grocery and other stuff when it comes to buying sa clothes. So, that's it at the moment. And see you next time. Bye!